AI in Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Our host brings you the leading minds in AI, sharing their story, their success, and their advice. Focusing on fast-tracking you to the top, AI in Action cuts through the hype to help you kickstart your data science career. To listen to the latest AI in Action podcast, head over to www.aldus.com forward slash podcast, or subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Podcasts. You're listening to AI in Action. I'm your host, JP Valentine. Our guest today is Peter Hafez. Peter is the Chief Data Scientist for Ravenpack. Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, John. Great. Peter, let's start with a um, little bit of background of yourself, how you first got involved in technology, some of the roles you've held along the way, taking us up to your current position as Chief Data Scientist at Ravenpack. And my background is is very much from uh, a more traditional economics uh, sort of uh, background. Um, I started uh, studying economics with special focus on on quant finance, on statistics, on econometrics. Uh, took the more traditional route, uh, working for the bigger companies uh, in in portfolio and risk management, like Standard and Poor's and Credit Suisse uh, in London. Uh, I then wait, made, wait, uh, made my way uh, to Saxo Bank, uh, which was, uh, can you say, an innovator in online trading. Um, and that was where uh, my career probably took uh, a, a turn towards more uh, fintech. Um, and uh, we were doing a lot of innovative uh, things uh, like uh, automated market making, uh, applying machine learning, reinforcement learning to, to build out uh, better uh, sort of price settings in our market making desks. Um, we were also doing a lot of quant marketing and uh, and and working with uh, more systematic CRM systems, uh, understanding what clients we should uh, call, uh, talking about uh, what topics and so on. So so making the sales process and the marketing and onboarding process uh, much more efficient. Um, that also uh, led me uh, to, uh, of course, explore uh, newer technologies that were popping up. And uh, one of the things that, that uh, caught my interest was uh, natural language processing. And we are probably talking 14 years ago or something like that now, or, or 13 years ago. And it, it basically caught my interest and, and I started exploring the, the area. And saying, you know what, that's that's gonna be very cool when when uh, and interesting when we can start to to apply or or incorporate uh, more textual content into into our decision making. And um, as as uh, it turned out, I, I got an opportunity. Uh, I, I came across Raven Pack, and um, I managed to to get involved with with the company I was brought on, and and that's sort of how I moved more onto the. Uh, NLP technology side, uh, bringing in uh, more of the um, more of the finance angle to to the business. Great, thank you for that, Peter. So you've been with Raven Pack for for many years now. Um, so it would be for first of all, let's start with for anyone not familiar with Raven Pack, a little a little overview of of who Raven Pack are, what you guys are doing, and then talk about the the evolution of the organization from the time when you first joined. Yeah, so, so Raven Pack has been in operation for quite some years now. Uh, we started out back in 2003 as, as more of an R&D shop and became a product company uh, in 2008. We are considered uh, a pioneer in natural language processing for financial markets. Uh, that means that we turn unstructured content, uh, primarily news, blogs, social media, but more recently we have also expanded into uh, filings and analyst reports and emails and so on, uh, internal content that organizations might be sitting with. But we basically turn this content, unstructured content text, into a structured set of analytics that we are feeding back into uh, quantitative hedge funds and, and asset managers. So we'll tell uh, firms, you know, what, what companies, uh, what products, people, places, you know, currencies, uh, commodities uh, are, are mentioned in the news. And uh, what are the events uh, that are taking place around these companies? And, and we also measure sentiment and so on. And, and that, that can feed into uh, their uh, investment process uh, in, a, in a systematic way. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so you and I spoke 
previously about the impact that Raven has on the marketplace and how it evolved over time from pure R&D to now being a leader in the field. Could you give us some insight into uh, the, the various use cases and, and the impact it can have for, for organizations in the, in the quantum finance market and, and how heavily they rely on your data? Yeah, I would say the NLP technology, of course, have massive impact uh, on, on the financial industry. And, and one of those big game changers that allows uh, investment firms to move beyond what you would, uh, yeah, what you would, what you are calling uh, structured data, right? So things that can fit into uh, an Excel sheet. So that would be your market data, the traditional market data, uh, price, volume, and, and also more fundamental data that are uh, coming from, from more on the accounting side or, or, or balance sheet. Um, so NLP has, has basically um, allowed people to move uh, beyond this content and, and start to more systematically incorporate textual content. And of course, today, I mean, people are talking about 80% of, of all content that are being produced comes in, in text format um, or at least in an unstructured uh, way. So you are suddenly opening up uh, your decision process to a much wider uh, set of, uh, of information. And that's really how Ravenpack uh, has been able to, uh, to uh, impact the industry and to, to help them engage uh, with this uh, new content set. Great, thank you for that, Peter. Um, now focusing on yourself, so chief data scientist with the organization, you've obviously been there for, for a while and built that up over time. So what's involved with being the, the head of data for, for Ravenpack? Can you give us some insight into the, the various projects that you're working on and, and some of the problems that you're solving? Yeah, so, so the team has uh, quite a few uh, mandates. So our three primary mandates uh, are basically thought leadership. So we sit as internal clients and consume the data that we produce similar to how our clients would consume it. And we are trying to build out use cases, uh, writing research papers, inspiring uh, the marketplace on how to take advantage uh, of our data. And that often, of course, because we operate within the financial sector, means that we are building some simple trading strategies and, and, and showing, uh, showing uh, the directions that people uh, can take with the data. It is very rich, so you, 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 it really allows you to be very creative coming up with, with these different use cases. Um, the, the second mandate that we have is within uh, sales and marketing support. Uh, the research that we write, obviously, we use uh, as, as marketing uh, collateral, and we also are invited uh, uh, quite frequently to speak at conferences about uh, the use cases uh, of our data. Um, and um, on the sales side, uh, when people uh, take a, a trial of, of our data, uh, they get to speak to someone from uh, the data science team uh, who will help uh, the, the, the prospect or, or the potential client to get up the learning curve faster and, and navigate to to, uh, to a good result uh, as part of the trial. And, and the last mandate that we have uh, is within uh, product development. And that could be both creating new features on existing products, uh, but it could also very much be uh, building uh, derived data products from, from the granular analytics that we produce. That could be creating a sentiment indicator uh, or thematic indicators of, of different types. So as you've built out this, this fully functioning data team, uh, could you talk about you know, what's been most important for you as the leader of the group and how you've scaled it over time? Also speaking to the fact that you guys are a truly global business with locations in several, in several cities and, and how you go about effectively running the, the, the global data team. Yeah, so, so one of the things that is important to me and that I look for in, in people that, uh, that I hire is really a, a self-driven personality and, and, and passion. I think you can get very, very far with, with passion. I also uh, like to build a team where um, people are able to work independently and, and in an entrepreneurial sense. 
so I'm not uh, into micromanagement very much, and I don't think it fits very well within a, a research uh, environment. Um, so, so that's one of the things that I really look for. And in terms of, of, of building the team out, uh, we currently have the team sitting in two different locations. The primary location is in our uh, Mabea offices in Spain. That's where the main R&D center sits uh, for, for all of Ravenpack. Uh, but we also operate an office uh, in New York uh, where part of the, the data science team sits. Uh, mostly uh, because uh, to be closer to our clients, uh, a lot of our clients are, are, are US-based or New York-based, um, but also very much to be able to attract uh, uh, certain types of candidates that may be more challenging um, to, to, uh, to get uh, from, a, from a Spanish location. Um, but in, in, terms of, um, in terms of building out the team, I mean, uh, right now the team consists of uh, three uh, sub-teams, if you would uh, say. Uh, one is a, a quant research team, so that's really where a lot of the use cases are, are, are being constructed and, and built out and, and where the research papers are written. We have a, an NLP innovation team, uh, which is a, an agile, approach to, to, to NLP use cases. Um, we, there's also other uh, parts of the organization's uh, station where the NLP innovation is happening, but we are in this team uh, a little closer to the market and to the actual use case. So we can, we can, can build out uh, technology just to solve uh, a particular uh, product that we have in mind that could be a particular investable index that we want to do that might focus on, you know, companies that are uh, thinking about China expansion, then we can build out the technology to focus on that particular problem. The last team that we have is what we call the content R and D team. And they are, they are really um, sort of have the mandate or responsible for building out uh, our research, research infrastructure. Uh, so they are in charge of, of, of identifying uh, new technology uh, that could uh, be integrated into a research platform and make us more efficient as a team. They are also responsible for onboarding new data, uh, analyzing it and, and seeing uh, if, if it adds value to uh, the source mix that we already consume or have. And uh, they're also uh, helping uh, the, the research teams uh, to translate the research into actual products so they are are, are our technology uh, and, and 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 product management team internally within the the data science team so you've stayed with Ravenpack now for coming up on 12 years and, and continue to grow with the organization so obviously there's there's been something about the position and and the industry that's kept you engaged all this time what do you enjoy most about your role with Ravenpack and, and what makes um, the organization uh, unique uh, to, to others that are out there yeah I would say to, to me personally one of the things that I find most attractive and and what have made me stay, stay for so many years is that I don't think that there are many opportunities in, in life to, to be part of a, a company that actually has a, a great impact on an industry that can help revolutionize an industry. And that's really what I have felt that, that we have been part of uh, with, with Ravenpack. Um, we were very early on uh, applying NLP techniques uh, to uh, financial data sets. Uh, financial news and that uh, it was it's been very exciting i mean we were able to walk in uh, even being a very small company into the biggest organizations and they were interested in hearing what what we had to say i think that that was very very exciting and and of course just having been able to to research this type of da data very early on and understanding new uh, patterns and data on how you can predict uh, stock prices and so on, I think has been, been really, really exciting. But otherwise, if you look at company, the company as, as a whole, I mean, what's, what I really like is, is that we are an, an agile company. I mean, we are still a relatively small organization with 130 people, so we can move fast on, on projects or, or on ideas that, that uh, we think are worth uh, pursuing. 
I mean, just uh, very recently, uh, we turned uh, a quite large part of the organization into building a product that was focused on uh, the, the COVID-19, so the most recent uh, pandemic that, that we have experienced. And we came out with a coronavirus or COVID-19 dashboard uh, within uh, two weeks. And that has actually been uh, the most successful uh, sort of driver of the traffic to, to, to the company. And, and uh, we have received a lot of great feedback on it. And we have uh, thousands of, of, of daily users of, of, of this platform uh, today, um, a couple of, only a couple of weeks later. That's amazing. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a very uh, interesting experience and it's been great to see how the entire team was able to come together and, and being excited about uh, getting this uh, product out as, as quickly as possible. Um, but I think generally, I mean, the, the, the continued innovation that is uh, going on in the company is obviously very exciting that you get to work on many, many different kinds of projects. And we have an amazing team that, that comes together on all of these new projects that we are uh, building out. And, and also still being a relatively small organization, one of the things that I think is attractive uh, to candidates or, or people uh, working at Raven Pack already is that you can actually have an opportunity to, to have a real impact on the organization. And you are at a stage where when organizations change uh, so quickly as, as we have done at Raven Pack, it creates opportunities for people that are proactive to sort of carve out their own space uh, by, by, by taking charge and saying, you know, this piece of work or this, this particular thing is, is not getting done right now. I'm going to try and own that. And then that creates uh, some, 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 some great opportunities there for, for, for career growth. And we have seen that uh, uh, in the uh, data science team uh, on its own, that teams have been constructed just based on people taking responsibilities for certain areas and, and then naturally growing that into a, a new team. And I think, uh, that's something that uh, is is exciting to uh, to be part of. Yeah, that really speaks well to why you've stayed as long as you did, and and why so many people in Raven Pack have incredibly long tenure, and and it's a very exciting prospect for any uh, data scientist to be given that level of support, and you know, very much an entrepreneurial environment. Um, before COVID, we were talking about the, the, the growth plans and, and you guys are clearly a, a fundamentally sound business who are going to you know, thrive once we, once we get back to normal. We don't know what the new normal is going to look like, but given the success that you guys continue to have, where do you see the business growing over the next 24 months and particularly focus on the data team? What are the types of individuals that you're going to need as you continue to, to expand? Yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on within uh, Raven Pack. And over the next 24 months, we will, of course, continue on, on, on the path uh, that we are on uh, when it comes to our core product offerings. We are actually, later this year, going to launch our uh, fifth uh, version of our core data feed, which has some, some quite innovative uh, uh, additions to it. So we are moving multi-language. So up until this point, we have primarily been focusing on English language uh, text, but we are moving into multi-language uh, in, the, in the new version of our uh, NLP platform. We are also uh, going to expand our entity coverage uh, going from some, you know, three, 400,000 entities that we track into the millions and, and allowing for a lot more connections uh, uh, between all of these entities that we track. Um, and uh, there are lots of other interesting areas. But one of the things where we can see um, the, is, is getting a lot of attention uh, in the marketplace uh, amongst our clients and, and also, of course, within the company is within ESG or, or sustainable investing. Uh, so we are, are turning our technology more and more on to being able to cater for um, uh, the increased interest uh, from uh, investors in and allocators on on being able to to cater for 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 ESG investing and it's it's kind of being pushed and supported by 
uh, regulation as well. Uh, so over the coming years, there will be much tougher regulations, especially in Europe. And, and I can imagine that it will also uh, happen in other uh, regions in the world on, on being able to report on uh, uh, ESG risks and exposures within your portfolios and also as a as corporate, uh, actually, uh, not just in the investment world. Um, and, and being able to track when uh, event, uh, events that are impacting your ESG rating uh, occurs and, and you have to be timely in your, in your, um, in, in your reaction to these uh, events uh, as, as a business. And that's a, a, a space where Raven Pax uh, falls in uh, quite nicely with our uh, low latency technology and picking up when uh, the, what we call actionable events happen around companies. So in order to, in term, from a team perspective, I mean, what do we need in order to cater for that? Of course, we will continue growing. I mean, over the last year or so, we have probably added 40, 50 people uh, to the organization. And uh, we will continue uh, adding uh, uh, more and more uh, people. And I will say that that it will generally be a, a, across the board within the company, but surely the data science team will grow faster than the rest of the organization in, from a, a sort of percentage growth perspective. Um, the team today consists of, uh, of 12 data scientists and uh, we expect uh, within the next uh, year and a half uh, perhaps um, to, to hit the, the, the 20 people, so close to, to doubling. And um, we are going to, to, to expand uh, across all verticals within the, the data science team. So that will be both more researchers to cover uh, ESG research, to cover more macro-based research that we are also interested in uh, from a broader perspective, uh, but also to build out our NLP innovation team uh, to be able to cater for a bigger focus that we have within uh, investable index uh, methodology construction. And... Uh, we are continuously, continuously also onboarding more and more textual content, which will also require that we uh, expand our uh, expand our content R and D team. Wow, a lot coming up uh, in the near future. Very exciting times. Look, clearly you you guys have have got a very compelling uh, product and service, which is high in demand, and it's only going to continue. And I think we, you know the impact of COVID is is going to further accelerate the need for such an amazing um, data capability. So we're excited to see what what comes next from Ravenpack and and Peter. Look, I really appreciate your time. This has been incredibly informative. So thank you very much. Thank you, John. Thank you for having us. AI in Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Aulus offer an exec search program. Aulus can help you discover how data science and AI can transform your company. With our unrivaled network of C-suite executives and senior AI professionals, we offer retained search services across the US and Europe. For more information, contact mark at aulus.com. Get the Aulus Advantage. Become a member of the Aulus community and enjoy some of the following. AI meetups. Once a month, our community gathers to listen to some of the leading experts in the world of data science and AI. Our speakers come from all over the world, including Dublin, Boston, and Frankfurt. We also have our AI mentors. Our experts will provide mentoring to all its members. And don't forget our AI in Action podcast. Each week, we have guests from all over the world talking us through their education, career, and more. Become an Aldous member and get the Aldous advantage. For more information and to sign up for our newsletter, log on to www.aldous.com. Dot com. That's www.aldus.com. Aldus International, empowering through AI.